Just a little tunnel here at a site called Amaru Machai, which means the cave of the serpents. Serpents represent wisdom in the Incan culture. So we've just been corrected, which is good, because the local keepers of these places tend to know often more than archaeologists do, because they have the oral tradition of the area. So this site is actually called Amaru Markawasi, which is Inca. It means this, the house of the serpent, which means it was a place of higher learning during Inca times. If you can see the trail that's there, that is a major Inca trail called the Capacñan, or the Royal Way, or Royal Road, that leads all the way to the middle of Chile and Argentina. Now, it is, of course, an Inca site because we see the Inca constructions here, but there are also carved out surfaces, hundreds of them, which were made by a much older culture. Some call the Piruas, from which Peru gets its name. We don't really know who they were and what level of technology they had, but they clearly had a higher level of technology than the Inca. Some theories estimate that these carved out surfaces could be more than 12,000 years old. So the Inca were in this area from about 1000 AD until their brutal destruction at the hands of the evil Spanish conquistadors in 1532 AD. And geologists that we've had with us here have stated that these cut surfaces show weathering patterns based on the climate of several thousand years. So that's scientific evidence that someone was here with some high level of technology before the time of the Inca. So then you follow the Royal Inca Road or the Capacñan. This one actually comes from the Amazon jungle to Cusco and it leads you to the next megalithic site, then the next, and then the next, because all of the megalithic sites are on major Inca roads of some kind. Locally, this site is called the Temple of the Monkeys. Why, I don't know but it's clearly, or was clearly, a venerated site, megalithic aspects, and then Inca additions to it. And the next location we're at is called Kenko, which means the zigzag. And this is a labyrinth we're going through.
So you can see it's a natural fissure in the stone and then was enhanced later. But by who? The Inca or the older megalithic, more high technology culture? And this is another labyrinth, but inside. The table where the Inca mummified their dead. Okay. This is the backside of the famous site called Sacsayhuaman, and we are going to go through a series of labyrinths. There's actually a tunnel right up here, which is pitch black. It takes about a minute and a half to get through. And the piece de resistance, the largest megalithic wall in the world. 